Hey everybody, what's up? Startup Survival here, and I am going to present you with an interesting video, I think. Have you ever wondered um, what type of blade shape um, and what type of blade length, uh, what type of tip, all that stuff is the best penetrator? Um, you know, I, it's fairly obvious from some designs, such as the uh, Spyderco Paramilitary 2, that this knife is going to penetrate fairly well versus, um, I don't know, I mean, say the... Um, the Sage 1, which we have here, right? Like, you can see that that's got a much more acute tip, so chances are it's going to penetrate better. But I had the idea for a semi-objective test um, the other day when I was doing laundry down in my building. So there's a library of books down there um, that nobody wants, sort of orphan books, uh, such as uh, New Moon, Twilight, Part, uh, whatever, um, that nobody wants anymore. And I mean, I'm sure the world is not going to miss this book. And anyways, uh, I gave it a try on another book, actually, and uh, so as I stabbed it, I was able to count the pages and see how far into the book that it penetrated. I think that's a fairly objective way to measure it. Uh, now, the other question in the experiment is uh, measuring the amount of force uh, that I apply. And now, because I'm a human and not a machine, I can't apply an equal amount of force every single time. So I thought of a way to get around that, and that's through um, increasing the number of trial times, uh, to reduce the variation when you average it out. Uh, long story short, I'm going to stab it three times and I'm going to take the average of those stabs and that's going to be our objective measure. Uh, and that's as accurate as I can get it for now. I'm sorry about that. So anyways, uh, I've got about 10 knives here, more or less, um, that I'm going to run through the test. Um, one rule is that uh, I'm not going to run small knives through the test. Um, I've got a couple of really tiny knives like the uh, Sog Flash 1 and the um, Spyderco Dragonfly. I don't think there's enough uh, traction or blade length there to really affect significant penetration in the book. So, and I just don't think it's safe to do. I think my, my hand will slip on that. So uh, I'm not gonna use that. Um, another thing to mention is safety, of course. As you can see in the background here, I've got um, two gloves. So I'm running a two glove system here. Um, this is sort of like a tough, uh, it's not leather, but it's similar to leather, I guess, uh, as well as sort of just like a, a normal like winter glove inside. So I've got a two glove system on here. Um, it's not like the best protection in the world, but in the event of a slippage or a lock failure, I think that this will be better than nothing and I, I really don't think that we're gonna have that issue because I'm honestly not gonna stab it with like all the power that I have uh, you know in my body I'm just gonna do it to a reasonable level and just sort of see what happens so um, without further ado let us meet the first candidate uh, and I'll flick it open on camera so that'll be cool too the uh, Cold Steel American Lawman uh, pretty new knife to the collection but anyways without further ado let's see how it does eh Okay, so it's kind of hard to count the pages. You just kind of like go, go all the way into the book as far as you possibly can. Okay, so it looks like it fully penetrated about 109 pages. I've got a spreadsheet over here where I am recording this. All right, one more. One twenty one. Next up, the uh, Bird Car Car Two. Obviously, the lock is not as strong, but let's see how the blade shape does. Ooh, that one did a little better. We got 140. Okay, trial number two, Bird Karakara two. Wow, 100 and... I'm going to call that 180. All right, trial number three. 
that is 175 so the bird car car too so far it is our front runner pretty awesome okay so next is the Kershaw blur another liner lock which kind of makes me uh, actually this is our first liner lock so that kind of makes me a little nervous but uh, that's what the glove is for right okay first attempt oh my god 243 that's pretty amazing okay second attempt Two hundred and sixteen. All right, last attempt. Two hundred and eighty. Okay, so the uh, the Kershaw Blur is in the lead. That is extremely surprising to me. Spider Codelica. Now this is pushing it definitely into the realm of smaller smaller knives, but I think this is like a borderline knife. It's big enough to do some real work with and not not ridiculously small. So anyways, let's try it. Alright, I feel the tip of the Delica just barely penetrating. 230. Okay, trial number two. Okay, 179. All right, trial number three, Spider Codelica. One seventy five. Okay, next up, the Spyderco Endura. Trial number one. Got 195. Trial number two. Got 199. Trial number three, Spider Co Endura. We got 215. It's a good score. Spider Co Persistence. Not expecting a lot out of this one, but let's see how it does. Again, liner lock, so uh, that's what the gloves are for. All right. I got 127. Trial number two. That time, 145. All right, last one. I'm going to call that 175. SOG Flash 2. Okay, number one. Got 185. Trial number two. That time I'm going to call it 175. 
Last one. We call that 170. All right. Benchmade Griptilian. Number one. We call that 197. Okay, number two. I'm going to call that <laughs> 157. Number three. We call that 180. Cold steel, recon one. Expecting good things. We'll see what happens with this mamma jamma. Wow, 265. Okay, number two, Cold Steel Recon 1. 253. Alright, last one with the Cold Steel Recon 1. I'm going to call that 231. All right, so far, Cold Steel is in the lead. All right, Cold Steel, Large Voyager. I'm expecting performance to be similar to the Recon 1 since it's a similar size knife, but we'll see how it goes. I'm going to turn this guy around. All right. I'm going to call that 185. All right, number two. I'm going to call that 151. All right, last one. I'm going to call that 197. <clears throat> okay, Spyderco, Sage 1. I'm going to call that 150. Number two. I'm going to call that another 150. Wow. Talk about consistency. Okay. Last one with the Spider Co Sage one. I'm going to call that one, 140. All right, and let's finish this off in style. The CRKT Drifter Stainless Steel. I'm gonna call that 203. Okay, trial number two. I'm going to call that 150. And last one for the CRKT Drifter. I'm going to call that 80. Okay, Spyderco Paramilitary 2. I'm 
call that 200. Okay, second shot. We call that 175. Okay, last attempt, paramilitary two. I'm gonna call that 209. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, I'll come back and uh, show you what the results were now. All right, guys, the results have been totaled up now, and I will share those with you uh, at the end of the video, uh, and maybe I'll annotate them here. Um, okay, so the worst knife of the whole bunch was the Cold Steel American Lawman. This guy only averaged about 118 pages uh, per strike. So that's very surprising to me because Cold Steel knives generally are portrayed as very heavy duty, tactical, all that stuff. And I'm not saying it's a bad knife at all. I really like the blade shape actually, but the performance speaks for itself. It just didn't penetrate as well as I thought it would. Okay, next up, CRKT Drifter. This guy uh, penetrated 144 pages on average, which is actually kind of surprising that it beat the lawman. Not too sure why that is exactly. Uh, but I mean, I'll compare the blade shapes nice and nice and close for you there. Uh, the one thing I'll say is like this is a narrower blade profile, I guess, compared to the Lawman. So I don't know. Uh, I guess it's easier to penetrate. Not sure. But uh, that was the result. Um, you know, not surprising this guy's near the bottom of the pile because it is a smaller knife with lacking traction and all that stuff. Okay. Uh, next up was the Spyderco Sage 1. Um, this blade shape uh, doesn't have a very acute tip in my opinion, so I'm not really surprised that it, uh, it, it ended up at the bottom of the bunch. It's not a tactical knife at all. It, it's really a great knife, but that's how it, uh, how it ranks. Uh, that was 147 pages on average per strike. Okay, next up is the um, Spyderco Persistence. Uh, very similar, I would say, to the Sage in terms of size and all that stuff. The blade shape is in the ballpark, um, you know, it's a smaller knife, not surprised about that at all. Um, that was 149 pages per strike, so extremely similar performance to the uh, Sage 1. Okay, next up is the... Okay, next up is the Bird Car Car 2. Um, when I did it, actually, this was one of the best ones at that time. Uh, but overall, it, it ended up sort of at the bottom of the pile. Uh, so 165 pages per strike. Uh, not bad at all, um, but uh, you know, obviously not the best knife out there for penetrating abilities. Okay, so next up is the SOG Flash 2. Uh, I was actually surprised by the performance of this knife because I really don't care for it at all. It got 177 pages per strike. That's not bad at all. Um, so that's uh, a surprise. I, I'm not a huge SOG fan, so... Um, there's some good news out there if you like SOG. Okay, next up, Cold Steel Voyager Large. So, uh, love this knife. I, I just think it's fantastic, really, for a lot of different purposes. Um, so, anyways, uh, the score of the Cold Steel Voyager was pretty much identical to the SOG, actually. Uh, 178 pages, so just marginally better than the SOG. So, uh, that's pretty surprising as well, uh, especially considering uh, where, where the Recon 1 ends up. Uh, they're extremely similar blade shapes and all that, so I'm, I'm kind of surprised about that. Okay, so uh, next up is the Benchmade Griptilian. Uh, just a regular Griptilian. It got 178 pages per strike, which is pretty much identical to the, uh, to the Voyager there. Um, so, you know, that kind of is what it is. I guess it's more or less average for the whole thing. Um, another big surprise is coming up next, and that would be the uh, Spyderco Paramilitary 2. I really thought with that super um, acute tip that this guy would be right at the top. I, I thought it would be the best one out there, honestly. Um, and it is, uh, you know, it's, it's up there for sure. It got 195 pages per strike, which is not too bad at all. But uh, it was not number one, suffice to say. Next up is a very surprising result. That would be the Spyderco Delica FFG. Uh, yet another reason to love this knife. Uh, it pretty much matched the performance of the paramilitary too in terms of penetrating. Uh, it got 195 pages per strike as well. 
Um, that's very surprising to me because it's a smaller knife. It's never regarded as a tactical knife. Yet, uh, there you go. It didn't fold on me and it uh, had great penetrating abilities. So, there you go. Pretty cool. Okay, next up after that uh, would be the Spyderco Endura. It's got a bit of a more refined tip to it, I suppose. Uh, a bit more uh, handle to grip onto there. So uh, it beat out the Delica. Uh, it got about 203 pages on average per strike. So now we're up over 200 pages. That's pretty impressive. Uh, okay, so only two knives left. Um, and if anybody has a good memory, you'll know what they are. But um, one of these really surprised me and the other one didn't. So number two is the Kershaw Blur huge surprise there and I mean let's really look at that blade shape for a second next to the paramilitary too um, you know it doesn't seem to have like as sharp of a tip you know but that has a surprisingly uh, really thin delicate tip actually so um, this absolutely shocked me it, it's sort of a wide blade nothing about this really indicated that it was going to be a great penetrator but I guess I really should have looked at that uh, blade um, the spine there just seeing like how thin it really got at the tip I think that was the secret um, so anyhow um, that penetrated 240 246 uh, 246 pages uh, that's really impressive um, the thing that made me nervous about using this knife was the liner lock that's a thin liner lock and I've actually seen uh, spine whack videos of this where the thing just like slipped right off. Um, so I was kind of nervous about that um, and hence the reason why I wore the double gloves. Um, but no problems with the lock whatsoever. The lockup is still fine. And yeah, 246 pages. Good enough for number two on the overall um, scale here. Okay, now without further ado, the top knife just marginally was the Cold Steel Recon 1. This got 240, let's call it two, 250, uh, 250 pages uh, per strike on average. So that uh, is a huge, huge, um, huge difference from the American Lawman. It, it basically penetrated more than twice as much. And I mean, let's look at those blade shapes just for a second up close so we can really see the difference here. I mean, this is a drop point, this is a clip point. Um, you know, the blade thickness um, at the tip, I guess that's the big difference. Like, really, look at the difference there. Like, that's uh, pretty significant. Um, so the American Lawman has a much more reinforced tip, I guess, than the, uh, than the Recon one. Um, you know, and let's, uh, let's throw this guy up against the, uh, the paramilitary, too, as well. I think that's the difference, is uh, you see at the tip... I don't know, I mean, Paramilitary 2 is really thin at the tip as well. And, I mean, let's face it, it did get, um, where did this guy end up? I think that ended up fifth on the on the scale here. Sorry, I got them out of order. But, uh, yeah, the, the Recon 1, I expected it to have a good performance. Um, it is a tactical knife. It's quite large, so you can really get behind that. Uh, the clip, play, uh, the clip uh, shape there is, uh, is pretty good for penetrating, I believe. Uh, what really surprises me, though, is that the Recon 1 and the Voyager didn't have similar scores. Um, I was really, really shocked at the differentiation there, um, and I can't come up with an explanation for that. I would love to, I would love to know if somebody could come up with an answer for that. Um, I mean, human error definitely does play a role in things, but uh, yeah, pretty huge difference on average. Remember, there was three trials. So there you have it, uh, objective or semi-objective stabbing uh, protocol. Uh, test here. I uh, pretty much wasted the uh, the new moon, um, but I don't really think that's a big loss. Um, so anyways, uh, this guy's going to go in the recycling, and uh, now we know which blades, uh, from my collection at least, are, are the best penetrators. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and let me know what you think. Cheers.